Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and of course I told you that I would be doing some uh, interesting videos this week uh, especially with the ICOM SCR30 and other little things that I have to talk about. One of the things that's really cool with the um, ICOM SCR30 last night was there was a pass of a satellite. Uh, AO91, Amateur Oscar 91, was actually uh, giving a 60 degree high pass around midnight 45 local. And I decided to pick up the R30 and tune to 145960 plus or minus Doppler, of course, to see if I could hear the satellite AO91. And I was using only that telescopic, of course, it was extended, outside in the backyard. And, uh, well, I thought I would hear it if there was some traffic, but i uh, got to say I was surprised. So I have a recording of, so we're going to use a recorder here, a recording of this, playing files, 29th. So here is at uh, 440 UTC, that's midnight 40 local, what I was hearing last night when I tuned around to hear the satellites. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is uh, a 91 pass that you'll be hearing, uh, heard, uh, of course, at uh, midnight 45 on September the 29th, 2020. Okay, 
So this, um, the, the rest is, uh, so there are some, still some reception, but the rest is a little more um, um, noisy. But that was using just a telescopic on uh, AO91, which was uh, interesting. So I'm going to do a few more today. I'm going to try to get a few other satellites. I want to try to get this uh, International Space Station also on 436-800. So, uh, uh, 437-800, sorry. So we're gonna check that out. So it shows you that just with the telescopic, you don't really need that big of uh, equipment. These satellites are actually pretty good in, in reception, and out, especially outside. Uh, it was nice to receive that. I was surprised to have it so clear uh, on the ICOM ICR-30 here. So uh, that is an example of uh, reception. Uh, playing around so um, I, I had tweaked it quite a lot before so to make sure that my settings are as best as possible so it is as sensitive as possible because I get a lot of uh, it, it desensitizes here a lot because of all the VHF UHF and FM signals that are very strong here um, which shows that its front end is actually not very good but um, you know was able to pick this up and it's kind of cool so uh, it's uh, nice to hear satellites on the VHF range uh, tuning around and just uh, listening in last night. So um, I'll be showing a few of the um, capabilities of this uh, radio and what uh, are the different options also. Uh, I'll try to post that uh, today as we... Uh, I'll concentrate a lot today on radio video, so both on the shortwave channel and here. Hope you enjoy the content. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.